because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. been living alone here for what six years ever since the scandal that ruined her career. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Flying solo. I want all eyes on her. Let's see what she does. And Luther, pre deploy the birds and key in on the party area. We spread too thin, too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. Hold on. And I see your two guides, other than Gabriel Vargas. This place is cheap. Why make well, This is a rare privilege. You and the gates. Very close. Yes, about 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never. Have fun. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. See that guy in the Sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates's business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, 
Have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sick. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Mental. The yeah, I got you. You aren't telling me what I'm. Nothing about okay. the party like your guests inexplicably yeah. dead. Yeah, next to them. In fact, a couple of spots like come to mind. Right? On the tour or after. Stand by. So you're not sure yet? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50 50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, all workers around. Who exactly is this bird? And then how's she pissing on your parade? Bristol, wouldn't you say? He's not even been appointed. Yeah, right. But if I'm gonna be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. I'm more of a beer man myself. So who's this fool? Thank you. <laughs> no, no problem. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post true. Yeah, I like it. Whatever. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa, what a shock. Hmm? Thumbs up, mate. Somebody have a... Winery. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate. Hey, bud. Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black? I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That's a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. Make a deal. 
Oh, yeah. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. This thing they're talking about. Mm, you really overestimate how interested people like that are in anyone but themselves. Oh, no, come on. about your boy Leandro throwing his knee out yesterday. They say the poor guy might be out for the whole... Hey, have I seen you before? Who are you? Bolo. Feel 
good. I cannot be born by now. What's going on with me? God, my ear. <laughs> Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet. Flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I, I have a third to contend. Will do. But you're not that important. Especially not today. So you're saying I could flip the work? I was in the 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 I was so, I am Gabriel Vargas, Chief Wanmaker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's mm. crop. Great expectations. Sir, yo. So, how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? And Apple. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium. The wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. So, 
is what the little guy feels like. No, all good. Looks like one for the man. Now, are there any more questions? Don't be shy. What can you tell me about this freezer? This is an industrial cold storage unit to keep our excess grapes stored to prevent decay. It easily reaches temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius. Trust me, you don't want to stay in here for long. No kidding. Hey, there's no doorknob on the inside. Seems like a pretty glaring safety omission if you ask me. Probably soundproof too. Such imaginations you have. But there really is no need to worry. Why? We haven't had an accident since Mrs. Yates' dog was run over by a gray picker. Anything else you wish to know? There's really no trouble. I got all I need. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? Oh, it's all very inspiring. One making is a grab. Shoot, let me. Let's continue to the barrel room. Hold on. There's nothing under that veil of dirt. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our Special occasion. Got it, Chief.
flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What, did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. Some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence? A calculate. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. Five grand paladin. Hmm? I'm fine, Santino. It's just... Oh, the 1945 Grand Paladin? It is perfection. Irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Oh, men like Don Yates know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. are devious, Santino. But, no. If Mr. Yates okay. wishes to Let's destroy something beautiful, I will not stand in his way. That is between him and his creator. Please, 
away from me. Put some pants on. Sir. Hey, who the hell are you? Who the hell is this guy? You can't be serious. You. Oh, ball. Hey, Flowers! Over here, come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be... bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. If you want to come through, I'm gonna need to pat you down. You are going to have to move away. This area is restricted. Yeah, that's right. Stay out of here.
hey, bro. You want to pass? I check your pockets. That's not up for discussion. That's good. Keep those arms there. Don't move. If I find something, I'm gonna crucify you. All right, all good. Go on. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated. And thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society. An acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. Looking good, man. Looking good. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable. Because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything. Which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. Cousin Harold's and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely right. Absolutely. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. I mean, what, what the hell? hell? What you You're saying? lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I'm in. Yes. Yes. I'm in. Excuse me, sir. Seems like you're not cleared to come through here. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. Here's all.
We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue That's not gonna agent work, 47. Revenge Remember for flowers. changing sides. You never saw a thing. Not a day. Something strange is happening. I take it out. In her honor, savor the taste because you never will again. And let me remind you, we are in this together. Bingo! One goes down. Help. Help. Max, you read me. Over. Someone needs help. Huh? What was that? Command! Oh, I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving in to investigate. Back. Got a body on the ground. Hold on. Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Jane, just a second. Damn it. Okay, okay, calm down. What happened? Tell me. Okay, shit. This just got serious. I need the ID of the perp. Can you tell me what he looked like? He was dressed like a soldier. This Who are you? you know? You rolled no. out the red carpet just for me. Come Don't. In, come in.
What was that? You shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. <sighs> Turns out this woman will be your downfall. If it's any uh, consolation, Don, what do you do, you asshole? Dirty stander! Shoot her! And I will uh, make it my mission to tear down Providence brick uh, by brick. Uh, Finish it. Uh, 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 such a good boy. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately. Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those whatever gates. Doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell.
There's one to go. So, Mrs. Yates was a career diplomat. Oh, yes. An international superstar. She was the Argentinian ambassador to Norway, then Israel, and then China. But her That's cool, though. Forty-seven. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. 
I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image. Agent 47, the Apex Predator. Hiding behind the headlines. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract by contract to shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think, she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> it was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Got to get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Coming! Once you dispose of Edward's, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past.
We need to find a catchy name for it. For when we go commercial, I mean. You figure this thing has commercial applications? Who'd want to have their minds wiped? Not wiped, obviously. But that's just fine-tuning. Okay, right now. The serum erases long and short-term memory banks wholesale. But in a couple of cycles, we'll be able to isolate the effects to individual memories. Imagine if you could pluck out childhood traumas. As we wake up, combat trauma. You guys should be over the moon. What are you talking about? I love waking up. Ether Corporation bought this train for cent. Yeah? I mean, what? The Ether Corporation bought. I just need a second of your time, tough guy. Not you, people 
out like that. Put your... Hey, drink for the one that killed the brick! Whoa! They're kicking the shit out of each other! Hit me! Hit me! Are you still here? The corporation bought this train for sample backup storage, but since the bombing of the R&D site in Johannesburg, they're refitting the cars.
we supposed to be exactly? Ukraine? It all looks the same through the blizzard. Nah, somewhere in Romania. Grab me a soda or something.
suppose there's any point calling for help. No. Seems I brought this on myself. Well played, Miss Burnwood. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. The of resignations at the top level of international finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hamilton Oil, while the new founder Tim Quinn and a bunch of other people step down from the It's been a long time, Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back. 